Welcome guys to episode four of the van build series. So today I'm gonna to get a start on installing the insulation. So just next to me, I've got sheets of polyiso cyanurate insulation. So PIR foam for short. Now this comes in 1200 by 2400 sheets. And this is a closed cell foam, which means water doesn't absorb into it and it's laminated on each side with reflective material. So I got sheets that were 25 mil thick, so they'll fit in all the cavities of the walls. Okay, so this is a sample of um, 20 mil thick foam, and I'm gonna be cutting it into pieces to fit into the cavities, as you can see, in the walls and the ceiling. Now, it's gonna be sticking with Sika adhesive spray, to these parts here and there's going to be about a 20 mil uh, gap from the external metal and also there'll be roughly a 20 mil gap from the internal sheeting. So my idea of having an air gap will reduce conductive heat transfer as opposed to that being flat on the wall there it would heat would transfer from the outside to the inside much easier so the air gap will sort of stop that transfer. I'm using Sika Bond for my adhesive Firstly, I'm just measuring up my timber props. Now measure up your insulation. I had to cut out the corners of the sheets to fit. Spray the insulation and the ceiling and allow it to go tacky before pushing it up. I use baking paper to make a template for the corners. Now I'm measuring up my horizontal props. Right, so I've run into a few problems. Um, the insulation isn't sticking well enough to the ceiling um, and a couple of them have fallen down. So what I'm gonna do is temporarily, temporarily throw a strip of timber all the way down the center of the van, and pack it out just a little bit and it'll push against the insulation to keep it held up. So I'm gonna do that until 
the final sheetings going in and I will also pack those out as well to push against the insulation so they they can never ever move or come down. I re-sprayed adhesive on the insulation and then mounted them back up. The timber pack is pushed up really hard against the insulation. Last month is where I want to be. My compass directing, electing, an open road with golden for traveling. The road, last month is where I want to be. My compass directing, electing, an open road with golden for I'm using Sika Boom expanding foam to spray in all the gaps. Last month is where I want to be My compass directing, electing An open road with golden tra Traveling, tra tra traveling Traveling, traveling, traveling Now I'm using my knife to cut off all the set foam flush tra tra Traveling, traveling Traveling, traveling Last month is where I want to be My compass directing, electing An open road with golden tra Traveling, tra tra traveling Traveling, tra tra traveling When I tested with a straight edge if the insulation was protruding I could see that it was so I had to shave some of it off I'm just using a hacksaw blade Last month is where I want to be My compass directing, electing An open road with golden tra Traveling the road Last month is where I want to be My compass directing, electing An open road with golden tra I used an old copper pipe to make a mold of the wheel guard I use this mold to give me measurements for my floor. I used an old brake disc for the circled edges. I'm using 17mm thick structural ply for my flooring. Last month is where I want to be My compass directing, electing An open road with golden tra Traveling, tra tra traveling
I sprayed some Sikaflex between the ply sheets to stop friction squeaking. Now I'm measuring out where I can put bolts. Traveling the road last long is where I want to be. My compass directing, electing. I pre drilled all my holes with an 8mm drill bit. Traveling. 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 After pre-drilling all the holes, I got a mate to lie under the van while I secure the bolts from the top. I use 65mm by 8mm gauge countersunk stainless steel screws. Okay guys, so the floor is in now, the insulation is in. Um, it took me a lot longer than I thought to do the floor, but finally it's in. Um, I've got a few other problems with it, just a few sheets are just a little bit off level, but um, I'll fix that up. It's got a bit of planing to do. So as I mentioned, I had some problem with the insulation on the ceiling. Some of the sheets fell down. So I put this fence paling up and packed it out with little bits of timber in each bay to push against the insulation. So when I do the final sheeting, I'll put some permanent packers in, about three in each bay, to keep a lot of pressure on the insulation forever. So as you can see, I still haven't insulated these spaces here and the ones below, because I'm waiting to wire everything up electrically. So I'm leaving that um, open for now, and I'll insulate that at another time down the track. And just another thing, once I put this expander foam, and once that all set, this insulation actually is all pretty rock hard inside, but I will just pack it out, as I said, just to make sure. So that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, the next episode, I'll probably be putting in the shower base and maybe even start building the walls and the cabinetry. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you wanna see more van videos. All right, thanks guys, see you in the next one.